Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today I have a workaround tip for you in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to combine multiple masks that are all overlapping each other into one mask using either Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop. So to create masks using the pen tool, you wanna first select the layer, then grab the pen tool. You can also use the keyboard shortcut G and just simply click and add points and then click the open vertex to complete the mask. So that's mask one. With the layer still selected, I'm gonna create some additional masks. You must overlap at least some part of the masks with each other. For example, you can't create a mask over here on its own and expect to join it with a mask that's not connected to it. So you must overlap some part of each mask. So I'm just gonna click and create random shapes here. There's mask two. And I'll create one over here. Again, these are just random shapes. I'll click the open vertex to complete that mask. So now if I twirl open the layer, you'll see that I have three masks created. To combine the three masks into one mask, I'm going to shift click to select all three masks so they're all highlighted. Then I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. So Command or Control C to copy it, or go to the edit menu and choose copy. Open a new document in Adobe Illustrator. So this is sized at 1920 by 1080 pixels. And I'm going to paste it by pressing Command or Control V or go to the edit menu and choose paste. Now it's going outside the artboard, but that's okay. And to join them together, I'm gonna to go to the window menu and open up the Pathfinder panel. Then just click on this first button, Unite. I'll click and now you'll see that is combine them all into one shape or one mask. I'm gonna copy that to the clipboard again. So go to the edit menu, copy or use Command or Control C. Go back into After Effects. Now I'm just going to paste it. Command or Control V or go to the edit menu, paste. And now we have one mask, pretty cool. Because I had the mask selected when I pasted from Illustrator, these three masks are now identical. So you can just simply select the two other masks that we created, tap the delete key, and now we just have one mask with that combined mask shape. I'm going to undo a few times and show you how to do the exact same thing if you're more comfortable using Photoshop. I'm gonna copy it to my clipboard, edit copy. I'm gonna jump into Photoshop, create a new document at 1920 by 1080 pixels. I'll go to the edit menu and choose paste. In this pop-up window, choose path, then click OK. That is going to paste the three masks as paths in Photoshop, just like it did in Illustrator. And all you have to do is come up to this top toolbar, click on this icon where it says Combine Shapes, and choose this option, Merge Shape Components. I'll click. You see it joins the paths of the masks all together into one shape. I'll copy it to my clipboard, edit, copy, jump back into After Effects, paste it, Command or Control V. Now all three masks are identical. So just select two of the masks, tap the delete key. Now you're left with one mask. And now for a real world example of when you could use this technique to combine multiple masks into one. First, I created this new blue solid layer. With the blue solid selected, I went to the pen tool and created three masks. Go to Effects and Presets, do a search for radio, drag the radio waves effect onto your solid layer. For wave type, change it to mask. Under mask, you'll see you only have the option to select one mask at a time. So if you want the radio waves effect to go on all three masks, we're gonna combine them together. So select all three masks by shift clicking, copy it to your clipboard, edit, copy. Open Illustrator, paste, Open the Pathfinder tool and click on the Unite button. Copy it to your clipboard, edit, copy, go back into After Effects and paste. Now you'll see Mask 1 is selected. So now you can just select Mask 2 and Mask 3, delete them. And now the Radio Waves effect is only being applied to that custom shape that you created by combining three masks into one that is your quick tip in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.